Kelly. Hey guys, Will here, Press Start TV, E3 2016. We're here with Roman, the game director on For Honor. Hello. Hello. I mean, For Honor, uh, you, listen, we were at the media briefing and I've, this game has been just hyped and had a lot of buzz around it leading up to the briefing. We got to see more of the gameplay. First of all, tell us what was the inspiration of creating a game like this? So the core inspiration of Forno was trying to recreate that feeling of medieval sword fighting and really visceral experience. That's at the core of Forno. And then when we start looking at more weapons and stuff, that's where we go with, okay, what kind of culture can we use? Where do we have a broad area of weapons and various fighting style, etc.? And eventually it evolved in what we have today. Uh, how about the characters? I mean, the characters was going to tell the story, right? Make people like really have that emotional connection as you're just tearing everything up. But what made you decide on like the Vikings and like you know that kind of thing? So, because of the weapon choice, we're like, okay, so first swords, swords, armor, okay, and knights. Then, as we are looking forward, we are looking at interesting weapons, so of course, katana, axes, and eventually, why we stumble on those three big factions? It's because we figure. Not only they are iconic in terms of weapon and fight style, but also they all mean something. They mean what are you for what are you fighting for actually? Are you fighting for freedom? Are you do you fight by your code? Do you fight for somebody else because you care for that person and stuff? And also something that is really powerful with that is we figure that everybody has an answer. Like for example, are you a knight, a Viking, or a samurai? Yeah. And then for me that's replayability because I want to see what you know, because I'm all those things, right? I want to play it all. Right? <laughs> uh, so about the gameplay what kind of uh, you know directives did you pull from for the gameplay so in terms of gameplay the core of it was to try to have that experience so we mapped the sword or your weapon on the right stick because the base of fencing with any weapon actually is the fact that where your weapon is it's also where you defend it and so that's the main idea of having the right stick controlling the stance of your weapon it's because that's where you put your weapon is where you are safe but it's also where you attack that's really the, the core of it and then on top of that we built fighters with move set with specific moves special attack feats etc that works whether in multiplayer or in the cinematic campaign so multiplayer walk us through a little bit what kind of experience can we expect from for honor with multiplayer so like the experience of the multiplayer is today is what we show last year at uh, last e3 and our next live period the uh, close alpha is coming uh, later this year but at the core the multiplayer is 4v4 pvp in teams and it's what is interesting it's because it's melee it's the jewel okay it's cool but actually you can have friends and know somebody can backstab me so now i need to work together with my team not only to capture the objectives or uh, push the lane this kind of stuff but also to coordinate with you to not get overwhelmed by the enemies right which is going to just wreak havoc on <laughs> i just love the setting the atmosphere the characters i mean it's got the whole package it looks great uh, what platforms are you guys developing on so we're developing on pc ps4 and xbox one and they all get the same love at the moment because in terms of frame rate you need to be really slick because it's an action and fighting experience so it needs to be really rock steady so that's why we're really focusing on the same the older three platform at the same time excellent and one last question what is your favorite part about this game my favorite part about this game <laughs> I really like the executions <laughs> of course <laughs> uh, and then uh, estimated time frame of when we can expect to get our hands on it so the game is really Releasing uh, February 14, 2017. Of course, Valentine's Day. Yes. It's the perfect game for Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and thank you. Can you can play in co-op and split screen. Also That's right. So. It's a perfect Valentine's Day wrap. After dinner, wrap it up, and you know, let's go. Let's go. Take one you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Roman, thank you so much. We very much appreciate it. Keep here on Press Star TV. We'll have more on For Honor coming soon.